I'm about to watch Tenet and I just bought every single seat in this theater. I am the only person allowed in this theater right now. I can sit wherever I want. I can sit right here or I can sit here. I could lay down and watch the movie like this if I want. To understand why I bought every single seat, we're gonna have to go back and understand what's been happening the last few months. Summer movie season is a joyous time when there are so many fun movies coming out and the parking lots are packed. But since coronavirus hit, the parking lots are empty, and they don't even put up movie posters anymore. Well, movie theaters are starting to reopen, and the first movie coming out is Christopher Nolan's Tenet. I mean, Christopher Nolan, the guy who did Inception, Interstellar, Dark Knight, his movies are amazing. I've been looking forward to this one. This is the one that I was most disappointed, have been pushed off because of coronavirus. And I have just seen that tickets are on sale at my local theater. I'm looking at it right now, and I have three really clear goals with trying to see this movie. One, I wanna see it in theaters. Two, I wanna see it with a crowd. I wanna be there as part of that energy. But three, I really don't wanna get coronavirus. And that seems to be conflicting with the first two. So I'm gonna see what things are like at this theater. I'm gonna figure out if I need to use economics to solve this problem of getting me the three things that I want. So my theater has reserved seating and the first thing I notice as I'm going through these tickets is that there are only a few seats available. And so I can't tell if this is because it's a really popular movie and this movie is sold out or if they have restrictions. So I'm actually gonna call the theater to see what kind of restrictions they have on attendance. You're calling Megaplex Province. Hey, I was just looking at the showings for Tenet next week and I noticed that there weren't that many seats available. Is that because it's a really popular movie or is it because there are restrictions on attendance? When you buy a ticket, we won't sell those seats next year and we're also only selling seats in half the rows. The restrictions on attendance make sense where you're not allowed to fill up all of those seats. But one of the big bummers is that seat right at the front where you can put your feet on the bar. It's not available because that's one of the blocked out rows. What are the other procedures in place with going to a movie right now? We sanitize the theaters after every show and we're asking every customer to wear a mask. So I'm really satisfied with what they're doing to try and stop the spread of coronavirus. They're shutting down rows. They're requiring everybody to wear masks. They're sanitizing theaters after every showing. This is good. In terms of the three things that I want, they're doing a pretty good job of checking off number three. So I can feel pretty comfortable about going to see the movie in theaters. Now you might be wondering, why do I even wanna go see this movie in theaters? Well, it is a Christopher Nolan movie and sound plays a huge role. Like Christopher Nolan is a huge proponent of the theater and that immersive experience. And when you see a Christopher Nolan movie, that sound just penetrates your soul and just rocks you to the core. And unfortunately, the sound system that I have available for my projector at home is not going to deliver the same experience. So I could go see it in theaters and I can feel pretty good that the movie theater is doing their best to try and prevent the spread of coronavirus. But I'm worried about number two, seeing it with a big crowd, because no matter what the theater does, there's still an economic problem at the center of this whole issue. Think of this whole problem like trying to go out and buy a car. There are two types of cars that are out there. There are good cars and there are lemons, the kind that are gonna just break down once you start using them. And obviously a good car has a much higher value than a lemon. Well, it's really hard for you to understand if you are buying a good car or a lemon, this is called an information asymmetry. Buyers don't know what the sellers are offering them. Because of this information asymmetry, there's a breakdown in the market. You don't wanna pay the price for a good car and find out that you have a lemon. So you're gonna offer a slightly lower price than the best car. You actually might average the two. Well, the problem is the people who are putting their cars on the market, if they have good cars and they see that they're not gonna get a good price from, they're gonna say, why go out and sell that car? But the lemons are gonna say, hey, this is a fantastic deal. I'm gonna sell my car and try and get that much higher price. Only lemons go on the market. So how does this relate to the movie theater? Well, if we were to just randomly select people from the population and put them in this movie theater, there wouldn't be that high of a transmission rate. 
So the problem is the people looking at this movie theater and see this is a higher risk situation. You're sitting in a theater for hours together circulating in the same air. So the most risk averse people aren't going to show up at the movie theater. In fact, I asked my students whether I should go see this movie in theaters and I had a student respond that you seem like the kind of person that isn't going to risk it going into the theater. And I take no personal offense to that because I am just excited that that student understood the selection problem there. So the risk averse people are staying home. That means the type of people who are filling up these theaters are the more risk taking people, the kind of people who are more likely in other situations to come in contact with people who have coronavirus. So these are the people who are most likely to spread the disease. So even with everything you're putting in place to try and prevent the spread of coronavirus, you still have this issue that the type of people attending this movie are probably the ones that are most likely to spread it. So if I bring family to this movie, are we allowed to all sit together? Yes, if you buy tickets together, you can sit next to each other. So it makes sense that they would let me sit with my family because I'm already in contact with them. I'm not increasing my risk by sitting next to them. But then this gave me an idea. If they're letting me buy more seats because I know the people I'm in contact with, how far could I take that? So is it possible to buy every seat in the theater? Yeah, you can do that. I'm about to watch Tenet and I just bought every single seat in this theater. I am the only person allowed in this theater right now. I can sit wherever I want. Buying out of theater is not that hard. You have to pay for every seat in there. But in this time when they can only sell half the seats, I actually am getting this theater for 50% off. It's a dream come true. Buying out this whole theater is kind of like paying the theater not to pollute. And that's actually something that we do with real companies. We pay them not to pollute. We ask them to reduce their production so that way we don't get pollution and we pay them for reducing it. And that's really what we should be doing during the pandemic is paying businesses not to function to make sure that they don't spread that pandemic. While it's comforting to know that I don't have anyone around me who could give me coronavirus, it's also just not that fun to watch a movie in an empty theater. I remember seeing Iron Man 3. I went to a morning showing and there was, I think, one one other person in that theater and it was just not a fun experience but last year when I watched Endgame I was there on opening night and I was surrounded by the hardcore fans that is when you got that energy that excitement that just made the movie so much better so here's a question is there a way that I can fill this theater without increasing my risk of getting coronavirus and by making sure if somebody does have coronavirus that I know that I've been in contact with them since I own every seat in this theater I have perfect control over who comes and so I wanted to think of this group that was going to give me low risk and the ability to contact trace and I realized I could be the coolest economics professor ever and just invite my students This was a fantastic solution to me because I am already coming in contact with these people. This is not increasing my risk of transmission at all. And I'm gonna learn pretty quickly if one of these people is sick. This was a win-win solution for me and I was able to have that in-theater experience with the sound penetrating my spine and be there with all of these people who were a joy to be with. It was fantastic. I just hope that I can understand what actually happened in this movie. I didn't get Inception. I felt pretty, pretty confident that I understood what was going on. And as the day progressed, as it went on, I realized, oh, I didn't get, I, I lost everything. I didn't get Inception. Oh! So if you like this video, you are going to love the time that I paid people to skip Star Wars and go watch Cats instead. Or you might like some of the other videos that you can find here on this channel. Thanks for watching Market Power and I invite you to subscribe to join this community of people interested in and excited about economics. We'll see you next time.